Wow! Though the 50s flashback act does not appear regularly in any of our shows, the sprawling pop ground arguably led to happy days. You can also easily spot the similarities to Lenin's Quiggy. Despite its lowbrow appeal, Shanana began as an Ivy League college collective in New York City in the late 60s. The band exploded onto the national scene in 1969 four years before American graffiti and five years prior to the farms. Suddenly, the ducktail haircuts, poodle skirts, sock hops and leather jackets of the 1950s were again in fashion. For those who were not around in the 70s, it can be hard to understand just how strangely massive Shanana became. The group was simultaneously a boy band for kids, a nostalgic act for the parents. They were television stars, something close to living cartoons. Though they had a hit variety show on syndicated television, only two of their songs cracked the top 100. After all, they were a tribute act, a cover band. Yet Shanana still carries on today in some form. You're watching how they changed and let's take a look at some surprising facts about this wide appeal pop sensation. Shanda Na is the syndicated television variety series that ran from 1977 to 1981 for a total of 97 episodes, hosted by the popular rock and roll comedy group of the same name. The show was produced by Pierre Corset and originally distributed by the Lexington Broadcast Services Company. Each episode ran for 22 minutes. The show featured the group performing hits from the 1950s and 60s, along with comedy skits along the show's nostalgic theme but with a contemporary twist, with performances from that era's well-known acts, as well as popular acts of the 1970s. Among the supporting cast members featured in the series were Jane Dulo, she played the crabby lady in the window who watched over the street scenes from the window of her apartment with undisguised disdain, and Pamela Myers, Amory Schreiber, Kenneth Mars and Phil Roth, season 1, June Gable and Subi Sales, seasons 2 to 4, Michael Sklar, season 2 and Karen Hartman, season 4. They began in an a cappella group at Columbia University. The group originally formed as part of the university's a cappella troupe, the Kingsmen. It was the brainchild of George Leonard, who was a graduate student in humanities. They were originally called the Kingsmen. However, they could not keep the name the Kingsmen. After all, another act of the same name had blown up across the country. The Kingsmen of Portland, Oregon, recorded their smash cover of Louis Louis in 1963. So the a cappella Kingsmen changed their name to Sha Na Na. They played right before Jimi Hendrix at Woodstock. Yes, Sha Na Na will remain the ultimate Woodstock trivia question. Sporting gold jackets and pants, the throwback crooners hit the stage before Hendrix ripped through his classic take on the nation anthem.